Hi everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So anyway, we've got a lot to talk about, so let's kind of jump in and get there, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the Miss Ellie, the uh, fitness uh, apparel that I've been getting. I'm actually wearing the March one right now, so I'm excited to show that to you and share it with you. The next thing we want to talk about is our fabulous planner. And this is going to be my last uh, luxury box. And after this, it'll be the smaller box that I'm getting. But these are the sticker kits that I'm using in my wellness journal. And then lastly, what I want to talk about is my wellness journal and show you whatever progress I'm making or and it's, I think it's pretty good. I think I'm going in the right direction. So I'm excited that I'm keeping track of it. And it's just, okay, so it's a little fun that way. But because I'm enjoying it so much, I thought some of you might enjoy doing something like that as well. So I bought two of these uh, wellness journals from Happy Planner. So we are going to be having a little giveaway on those. And I do know that we're kind of getting into the end of the first quarter. So you're thinking, well, maybe it's a little late to start doing a wellness journal. But you know, look at me. It's never too late to start. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel, to my viewers, my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Oh, it means so much to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today is going to be our wellness journal, our update for the month of March. So I'm really happy you guys are here to kind of share. It's not a milestone or anything like that, but just little changes that I've made here and there and and how I'm progressing so it's just nice to kind of have that accountability so it's nice to share that with everyone I want to talk about my Miss Ellie collection that I'm wearing right now for the month of March but first I need to do some housekeeping I know so Friday one of my co-workers uh, stopped on his way home from work to see me and I thought he's well I wonder what he's doing does he have some project he wants me to do this weekend for him no he brought me my mail I have no idea why people are putting a mail on my desk at work and so it really breaks my heart that one of our best subscribers I've seen her on so many channels and she sent me a Valentine's card and a St. Patty's Day card and my co-workers left it on my desk knowing that I'm not there knowing that either my boss comes or one of the boss's wives comes to see me every day and the guy that stopped in let it be known that he goes by my house every day. Why are people putting mail on my desk? I know. So I had mail from vendors that had sent me some things and invitations. So anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But I want to thank Janet for Janet. And everybody knows her as Miss Janet. She subscribes to so many of us. She supports us so well. She's such a sweet, kind lady. And so I hope she didn't think that I was sliding her. But she sent me this really cute Valentine's card. I'm sending you a special Valentine's gift. And isn't that sweet? So cute. He's tied himself up with a ribbon to give himself as a present. And then the other one was for St. Patty's Day. So it's St. Patrick's Day. So when do the shenanigans begin? Well, obviously at my work, it began the day that people stopped giving me my mail. I know. So anyway, thank you so much, Janet. So hi, Nancy. Happy St. Patrick's Day and happy Valentine's Day. Love, Janet. Thank you, Janet, so much. I really do appreciate these. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with my coworkers. But anyway, thank you so much. All righty. So Miss Ellie, so I'm wearing the March collection. So Miss Ellie, um, I pay $44.95 for my three items because I think I'm locked in because that's when I joined a few years ago. But right now, those same three pieces are $49.95 a month. Um, you get to choose the outfit that you want. If you don't, you can you can let them pick it. If you want to skip a month, if none, none of those items look like it's something that you want or you're saying you know I've got a car bill this week or oh my gosh we're having a birthday party um, I'm going to take someone out yeah I don't I don't want to spend the extra money you just skip skip a month it's really super easy to do with them and you get 
three name brand items the quality is really really good i've really been enjoying it i skip here and there but um, since i'm kind of getting back into i've decided i'm not going back into the office or maybe they help make that decision for me i can dress up casually every day so this one is called black tie and it's by psycho house i've never had anything from them before so this top is more like a really lightweight sweatshirt it's kind of cropped the inside i think i can lift it up without showing anything it's like a really soft french terry it's almost it's got a raw edge it's um kind of cropped i've got the leggings on so they're ankle length leggings wicked wicked comfortable so there's no pockets or anything in here so you can see this is the length of this this is the waistband it's kind of tell where's nancy's skin and where does the pants start because i'm kind of the same color but this is where the waistband is so we've got the white waistband and then it's just black really nice really comfortable and the sports bra is really comfortable too this is going to be a nice little summer top when i'm working in the house by myself so again it's kind of like that black tie idea so we've got um, black in the middle and then we got white on either side and then the back doesn't really want to show too good but the back has crisscross straps so if we can show this well we'll do it upside down right maybe that'll show better so we've got the crisscross straps maybe not and then the center of it is black as well. So it's just going to be a nice, comfortable, this is nice and stretchy. So it really helps with holding in some back fat, if you know what I mean. And yeah, so it's got the removable pads if you want in here. And it's just going to be a really nice, fun little top. So yeah, so that's my Miss Ellie. Again, I'll have a link below if you are interested in trying trying it for yourself. Um, that would give you 20, if you use my link, it gives you 25% off your first box. After that, like I said, it's $49.95 if you decided to stick with it. And I already picked out my April outfit. They have a skirt. I know, I love skirts. So yeah, my April outfit's gonna be a skirt. So looking forward to that. Alrighty, so next let's do our fabulous planner. And this is my last big one. And so they have two different subscriptions that you can get. The one that's just called the classic is $24.99. This one is a luxury one that's $30.99. This one comes and this one is a little bit more customizable. So if you tell them the size planner that you have, they laminate a sheet, they give you some pages to go in your planner that uh, would fit into the planner that you have. If you go with the, cut, the classic one, they don't put those ones in there, but because I am using this happy planner, I really don't need those additional items. So we just went with this one. And I did switch to go to the classic and I asked them to when this was my last one because I signed up for three months to switch to the classic and yeah so they sent me both the classic and this one for the month of March so we will probably put some things in giveaway later on in case anyone's interested it gives you the product card of what's in here the difference between what's the classic and what's the luxury and next month's theme is going to be perfect for a wellness journal. It's a fitness one. So that sounds really nice. And I didn't open this because yeah, I just thought I would share the opening with you guys. Alrighty, so this first item, I should have kept my card handy. Looks like it could be napkins, but that doesn't make sense. So we take this look at the rows of like old Victorian paper. Maybe for doing crafts. Yeah, I'm showing this. I'm doing a horrible job showing this. But this looks like some something that I will probably not use. I mean, if I was doing it for pictures, I could always use this, put pictures on it and to do frames. But I think this is something maybe someone might use in like a junk journal or something. But it is really, really beautiful paper. So we will have to think about that one. Alrighty. I really shouldn't have dropped that card. I think this is an ink stamp. I don't have any ink stamps. So... But anyway, it looks looks like a nice, colorful, fun. All right, maybe that means there's an ink stamper thing or thingamajiggy in here. All right, so next we've got this. 
think this is probably going to be some stickers that are in here. And usually they have lots and lots of stickers in this kit. And that's what it is. And I always do a bad job of showing these, but it looks like it's going to be. We'll just let them fall where they may, just to kind of daffodils. But it looks like there's all kinds of flower stickers in there. Alrighty, next. And maybe they call it masking tape, but I'm sure it's what we call washi tape. So let's see what this looks like. Sometimes things don't want to come out of the box. All right, so this is what this looks like. So probably do it this way, right? So that'll look nice on the bottom pages of my wellness journal. So really pretty masking tape or washi tape. Alrighty, we've got a get it done. We've got this notepad and you can't even circle a day so if it's something that you need for a certain day you can put that date on it. It looks like these are the stamps to use with that ink kit. Eh, it's probably upside down. This looks different flowers, different leaves in here. So that's interesting and I probably, well, probably should have taken these out well you know we'll just leave them in the cellophane so we don't take too much time but we've got the stickers here and it's all about spring is the theme this month so whoops upside down so we've got those stickers that'll go at the bottom of my journal pages and we've got I'm not sure it's like some foil stickers so those should be really pretty in a journal as well. I'm hoping that this paper here isn't making too much noise because otherwise I will end up doing this over. We've got a pen, kind of like holographic pen. We've got all these different colors on it. I'm sure it's just a twist pen. It's really very pretty. I'm not sure what this is for. It probably has something to do with stamping but I don't know for sure. It looks like a glass or a plastic kind of block. And lastly, we have the laminated page right here. If you wanted to put this as your cover um, for your planner and then the pages that you can put in the journal itself. So when I first started getting this, I really didn't know what I was going to do for a planner. I wasn't sure about the layout, but um, here's that card I thought I dropped. Oh well. Oh well. So anyway, but I decided I'm just sticking with the journal that I have. Um, it comes with the pages that are working good for me. So this is what my pages look like where I've got everything off to the side at the end of the week. So I've got all my weekly stats. I've got my start stats for every day, anything I want to keep track of. And, um, you know, on the normal pages, it's just going to be like calendar pages to start every month. And then, um, because we're going to be giving one away, uh, two away, just in case you wanted to see what those blank pages look like. So it does have um, things off to the side here. So it's got like intentions. So what do you intend to do for the day? The second section is called nourish and then it's movement and then take note. And what I do because I don't put down my intentions, I don't put down what I eat and whatever. So I just use a little bit of white out on those, those uh, the words and just do what I want to do in it. So again, um, and for the giveaway, um, if you don't want to use this for uh, wellness, but you're thinking you might want to delve into maybe a planner, see if it's something that works for you. Um, you can use these for, you know, buy sticker kits. I've got a ton on Etsy or the Happy Planner. And you have like, um, like the Hobby Lobby or Joann's, Michael's, things like that. Even Walmart, Amazon, you can get different sticker kits. Tebow, you can get stickers. 
I know. But if you wanted to track your children's activities, um, if you wanted to them to mark their homework assignments for you to check at the end of the week, or their sports activities, their, their clubs that they're in, maybe karate or band or dance, things like that. You can always mark their appointments in here with different color pens to keep track of them. If they're going to be in like a summer book club reading, you know how some schools do that for extra credit, they can keep track of their books that they read and stuff in here. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. But, you know, if you wanted to use it for a wellness journal, I'm going to have two of those to do for a giveaway. And just, I'm not going to go over everything, but I just want to kind of go over what I'm excited about. So I started this in January and not really knowing how long it would take me to, to show improvement or anything like that for you. Those of you that are new and may not know know me, I've had a couple of heart attacks. I've had a stroke. I had that bout with COVID that even though they told me it was a mild case, that's the one that took me the longest to recover from. That's the one that I'm still having trouble with, catching my breath and um, walking, things like that. So um, to me, it was important to get back to try to regain some strength i mean i want to go to the mailbox and back without having my neighbors having to help me back into the house i want to be able to talk for 15 20 minutes at a time without running out of breath and having to take breaks here and there so this is why it was so important to me to just start small start documenting and just try to see where i can improve so my what i've been doing is my under desk elliptical at work so I keep track of my steps and the time things like that miles that I've done and I used to do a lot I'm not there yet but I'm showing some progress so I'm excited about that I put my Fitbit back on in February so I'm starting to keep track of steps and sleeping and things like that those hours so anyway it says April but this is really my progress so it shows you january where i started so for the whole month on my under desk elliptical i did 14,691 steps go to january it went to 42,343 steps and look at march i did 136,280 steps on my under desk elliptical for the month just on the days that i'm working so i'm excited about that we've got the miles um say the first month i only did 5.8 miles on my under desk elliptical um going into february it went to 16.88 miles and i did 54.39 miles this this last month of march so I am showing improvement. I think I'm talking a little bit longer now without taking as many breaks and having coughing fits and just trouble catching my breath. I mean, if, if we all are going to have bad days. There's no sense about that. You know, that's just how it goes. All right. So the Fitbit. So my first month um, in February putting it on, I did 52,330 steps for the month. And last month I did 84,000 and four steps for the month. So I am showing some progress. So, you know, weight wise, I'm really not worried too much about the weight right now. That's not my main goal. I made that my goal before, and that was a big, big mistake. To me, it's just maybe getting my metabolism up, just getting some strength. I also, which I'll talk about more next month as I added arm work in last week. So I'm not a lot, but I added some resistance bands and starting to do a little bit of arm work. Not a lot, but I started. So I'm excited about that. So again, this is what is going to be in the giveaway. So there'll be uh, two, two winners and it'll be two of these books that you can use however you want. If you wanted to use it for wellness, if you want to do meal planning or keeping track of schedules or anything like that, it's yours to do whatever you wanted to do with it. And, um, so I'm excited because I'm enjoying doing this and seeing that I am making progress. And so anyway, but anyway, it'd be all the standard rules that everyone else has. Um, you have to understand that it's by me. It's money that I spent. It does nothing to do with YouTube, Happy Planner, or any of the other products that I show on my channel. You do have to be 18 years or older and have a U.S. mailing address. Um, 
you do have to be publicly subscribed to my channel um, and you can always check to see if you are um, and if you don't know how to check this different videos and things like that that you can check to see if you are publicly subscribed I know there are people that um, subscribe to a lot of people and they're entering but YouTube does occasionally just uncheck people unsubscribe them so if it's something that you are interested just double check to see if you are publicly subscribed we will run this through today's um we'll probably get this posted on the 12th wednesday the 12th so we will run it through um friday i think the 28th so that'll be just over two weeks and then i'll do a quick um random comment picker that little youtube thingy and um, we'll do that on the 29th i don't know if i'll put that in a regular video or if i'll just do you know like a quick thing showing it and announcing the winner and yeah so anyway good luck everyone i would love to hear your comments on how you think i'm progressing if that's something i should be like yay yay or it's like no nancy you can't get excited yet but anyway i want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending some time with me you guys mean the world to me and i'm so blessed i'm so lucky to have you guys in my life uh your comments of course are always welcome i hope you give this video a thumbs up and we will all chat again soon love you guys bye bye